Hey guys, how you doing? And tonight we are going to shoot with the Nikon Z50. I got this camera not too long ago and to be honest with you, I've been blown away with how well this little camera here works. I mean, just playing around, I've been shooting all the way up to ISO 40,000 and the images have been pretty good. I haven't tried Astro out um, with it, but just general, pick it up, you know, like a new camera, pick it up, take a few snaps and then just push that ISO up and uh, it's been fantastic. But tonight we're gonna shoot the uh, little Z50 on the, uh, on the front here of the uh, Celestron Rasa to help us out under these Bordel 5 um, class skies. I've got the uh, Celestron uh, Rasa light pollution filter. Um, just try and help things out a little bit there. Uh, maximum exposures I can use are about 30 seconds in camera so i won't be really using any auto guiding tonight because uh, i'm only going up to that about that 30 second bracket but we're going to push this iso up a little bit higher just to get the exposures i want in camera and uh, we see how we go I'm not too sure what target i want i've been shooting project orion for a little while now i want to shoot maybe something just a little bit different um we've got the uh um, large Magellanic cloud here in uh, Australia so maybe I might shoot that well I'm just gonna wait for it to get a bit darker and uh, we'll get cracking Sun has set the moon's showing a little bit but that doesn't matter the little Z50 is ready to go uh, setting so far uh, ISO 1600 30 second exposure and I'm just gonna take a whole heap of them throughout the night and then a bunch of dark frames afterwards as well and process it like no other uh, Astro image. But the target I've picked is the Eta Carina Nebula and the reason I've picked that is just to see how well the little Z50 picks up hydrogen alpha. All right, because if this little Z50 picks up hydrogen alpha really well, then this is gonna be a fantastic little Astro camera. Well, with all that being said, let's start imaging Eta Carina and I'll report back to you guys later. Hey guys, I've just taken 100 frames, and to be honest with you, that Z50 there is an absolute little beauty. I love it, and teed up with the uh, Celestron Rasa F2 scope, those 30 second exposures, ISO 1600 is all you need. And it's picked up a lot of HA, I think you're going to be pretty impressed by it. Well, if you want to know anything else about the Z50, just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you about that. I'm going to uh, definitely be shooting some nightscapes with this little camera um, when the core of the Milky Way is returned a bit more. But until then, I think I'm going to continue playing around with this uh, little Z50 and Rasa combo. So, anyway, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to hit that like, like, got any questions, comment. And if you're new to this channel and you want to see more stuff, hit that subscribe. 
All right, guys. Well, until next time, take it easy. See you. That'll do. That'll do.